David, on this trip on the sunburn circuit, I've been looking at this tent the entire time. We've camped <laughs> twice. It rained last night and it looks like you came out dry. Can you tell me just a little bit about this thing so I know where to get it and how to get it and if it's worth it for me? Yeah, so, and, and that's honestly, a, that's a fair question. So uh, this, is not a, this is not an inexpensive tent. It's not for the guy who's going to camp twice a year, right? Right. Um, it is also not for the guy who's only gonna camp in perfect weather. <laughs> Agreed. Right. So this is a family company. Uh, they've been in business for the past 50 years. Their claim to fame was really from expedition type travel. Mm -hmm. So let me show you some of the, the specific features of it and what makes it, um, number one, easy to set up. But number two, why it's able to withstand that without any problem. So one of the things that makes this tent um, different are the tent poles. Mm -hmm. And most tent poles, that's the one that breaks first if it's yeah. not, you know, a leak. And so um, these are 10 millimeter thick, which they're the thickest poles that I have seen on a tent, especially this size. Right. That creates a much more rigid, um, it's just like, it's very sturdy. The way they've done this is there's a vent here, it zips so you can close it, mm -hmm. which makes it a little closer to the four season version. And then vents all the way through and out the other side. So their recommendation when you're setting up the tent is to put it into the wind, um, the, sure. the long way into the wind. Sure. The three GT, the GT part is this vestibule. Hilleberg really did think of everything when they did this. So this is again made for expeditions, winter expeditions as well as summer. Right. And so the way this tent is designed is you've got two sets of zippers. So you've got zippers on the left and the right, but you can s configure it to where the zi it zips down oh, right. so that if you got snow up to here mm -hmm. you fl you have a flap and it doesn't actually go yeah. inside your vestibule so that's that's pretty cool so now you typically end up with a very clean and this is what's great for motorcycle camping now maybe in good camping but like oh yeah it's just Soft asking ground it rains at night there's no there's no, a 600 pound bike 600 pounds laying on top of there's it there's no reason point. i would like to do that no it's hard to get up in the morning after that <laughs> exactly <laughs> this is another reason if you're a fair weather camper yeah yeah you don't need to huddle up in your tent on a bad day that's nice because there's no bad day right right because you're just a fair weather camper yeah but if you travel long distance of any sort you're going to run into rain you're going to run into bad bad weather mm -hmm. Uh, but this is where I typically put all of my gear um, and then my clothing and stuff, anything that I need to access after the mosquitoes get out or whatever is in this living quarters. And gotcha. so uh, come on around here and I'll show you sure. what I mean by that. So as you can see, like there's a lot of room in here. I've got my sleeping pad, I've got my sleeping bag. So this is, I always put my feet at that end because it's shorter over there. I have all this area over here that I can sit, I can work on my laptop, I can um, transfer files, whatever I've got to do. Um, but then that's my clothing bag, so I have room to you know, get dressed, take baths, whatever I need to do. Um, but one of the things that's important, that's unique about this tent, I, I've not seen this in other tents. You can see that the material like right here is this very thin fabric, ripstop fabric, high quality. But the bottom part is a bathtub basically configuration all the way around that is like this, it's a heavy duty rubberish plastic type material and you can have water running at what three inches and you're gonna stay dry and I think that's a <laughs> that's something you can't say about a lot of tents so one last thing I wanted to show you and about this tent is a lot of people get all messed up with all these all the guide wires right it's the concern that you're not gonna be able to camp in certain areas because there's no way to stake it down oh okay that's the bigger issue yep. and the one thing I like about it is it comes with a ton of high quality stakes. And so if it's a really windy place, which I have been in places where it's 30, 40 mile an hour wind, mm -hmm. and you gotta have a way to really get that thing solid. Gotcha. And so it has stake posts for all of these all the way around. It also has these all the way around. So you can actually just belt it down if you have to. But out here, all I did was just the, right. the six around the size and the two on each end, and I was done. Anyway, well, I appreciate it, man. That's a that was a good. You, you, you caused me a problem now. You know, it happens. Now I have to go I, shopping. I've had this conversation with a lot of guys, <laughs> you know, at, at motor rallies and stuff like that. Right. And they're all like, ah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think 
the grandeur of this would be a little bit more than what I would need. So I get the smaller version like you mentioned earlier. <laughs> David, thank you. What was the name of the tent one more time? Uh, so it's made by Hilleberg. It is the Namage GT, uh, 3 GT. Got it. So and 3 yeah. is the, is the um, three man tent. Well, you've given means. me a little bit of envy here. Uh, your tent's bigger than mine, so I'm gonna have, <laughs> we're going to have to go shopping. But don't forget to uh, subscribe to Amazing Life on YouTube and, of course, Moto Photo Adventures. Hit the button, like, subscribe, hit the bell, watch the whole thing. Don't skip the commercials. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go buy a tent. Awesome. Let's get on the bikes and go to the next location. South. All right, we're out of here. <laughs>